The following math question is a bit confusing because it asks for the answer which uh, has an interval that does not contain any solution for x. So if you find that any value of x within the intervals given satisfies the equation provided, then that answer has to be crossed off the list. So let's go ahead and try a number um, out for the first answer choice. So between 0 and 1 we have the value 1 half and I'm going to go ahead and try that real quick. 2 minus 5 times 1 half is the same as 2 minus 5 over 2 which is the same thing then as saying 2 minus 2 and a half, right? So if we've got 2 minus 2.5 within the um, absolute value sign then that means we're going to have negative 1 half which because of the absolute value is just going to have to end up being positive 1 half being less than 3. So that actually holds true and we find that a value of 1 half for x can be uh, used for answer choices A or B. So both of these have to be wrong because they do contain a value for x that um, satisfies the given equation. We can do something similar for the last answer choice. Between negative 1 and 1 we have a value 0. So if we plug in 0 uh, we're gonna get 2 minus 5 times 0 so just 2 minus 0 or 2 being less than 3 and 2 is in fact less than 3 so we can go ahead and cross out answer choice E. And then we're left with these two answer choices. Um, and it's a little bit hard to see a little bit uh, at first what value of x we can pick between negative 1 25th um, and 0. But a good value might be negative 1 50th. So if we did that we would get 2 minus 5 over 1, uh, 5 times 1 over 50. So the same thing as 5 over 50 within the uh, absolute value signs being less than 3. So that's the same thing as saying 2 minus 1 tenth. And because 1 10 is significantly less than 2, um, when you subtract it from 2, you end up with a number that is in fact going to be um, less than 3, and you don't have to worry about anything like it exceeding 3 on the negative direction because it's a small number. So this one does satisfy the original equation. In fact, this is going to give you 1 and 9 tenths, which is in fact less than 3. So we can go ahead and cancel out answer choice C. So that leaves us with answer choice D. Uh, and the reason that that's correct is if you were to plug in 1, for example, you would get 2 minus 5, which gives you a value of negative 3. Um, and negative 3, when you take the absolute value of negative 3, gives you a positive 3, and 3 is not less than 3. It's equal to 3. So we can cross that out. And any larger value will do the same. If we plug in 2, we're going to have 2 minus 10, which will give you negative 8. Once you take the absolute value, it's positive 8, and 8 is not less than 3. So answer choice D has to be the right answer here. It does not contain any solution for x that satisfies the uh, equation provided. I hope that that helped with this problem, and happy prepping.